Meeting. At times, anything you do, you do it sluggishly. The worst part is that you spit all the time. Today again, I saw you vomiting. Tell me, are you pregnant? No. I know. Are you pregnant? No. Come and tell me. Yes. Auntie, Auntie, please, please. Oh, come Auntie. Auntie, 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 Yes. Chineke, hey. this girl has killed me. Hey! You are pregnant. Huh? Oh, yes. It's my girl. It's my girl of 14 years. It's my girl of 14 years. Hey. Hey. You are pregnant. It's my girl for over 14 years. And you are 10 block losing. Hmm? You are pregnant. What is your response? I tell you what is your response? I'll put that here in your mouth and say something before I... I don't want you.
Today, what happened? Mama is mosquito. The thing was too much last night. It didn't allow me to sleep. That's why I didn't wake up on time. Oh, sorry, my dear. Don't mind the yeah, mosquito. Thank you, Mama. Hey, Mama, I finished my work. So I said, let me come and fetch water for you. And you know, today is Saturday. So I want to clean your house. <laughs> oh, you are such a nice girl. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Take this money. Thank you. Ma. Go and eat first before I start fetching the water. Eh? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I forgot to tell you the day before yesterday. You should stop using those big jerry cans. Just use the small ones, eh? Okay, ma'am. This is the key. Okay. Mama, that's a fire, man. Go away. I don't even know how I survived. I believe it's God's work. But Mama, at least the money you give me and the one other neighbors give me, I survived by it. Oh, my daughter. I know that you don't have anybody to help you. And you have been suffering since the death of your parents. But that work you do is too suffering for you. Besides, you are still a young girl. Mama, I don't want to die of hunger. I'm only doing it to see what I can eat. I understand. You are still a small girl. Listen, I want you to stop that job. And you come and stay with me, if you wouldn't mind. You mean I should... You mean I should stop and start living with you? Yes, my dear. I don't mind. I have a salon there. My house, I'm staying alone. You can come down here and be helping me since you're such a nice girl. Mama, I don't have a choice now. God bless you, Mama. I'm so happy. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mama, when do I pack? Later in the day, you go and get your things down. Thank you, Mama. So uh -huh. Mama, I dreamt of you three days ago. Rose, Mama. when have you become Pharaoh of Egypt? That dream in those days. Anyway, what is your dream about? Uh, Mama, it was in a Catholic church. Outside the church, that time the mass has ended. So people were outside. And I saw you smiling. You now embraced one reverend father that was ordained newly. 
and then when you now saw me you now beckoned on me to come as i was coming and i woke up and i became angry because i didn't meet you in the dream what a wonderful dream it's lovely um let me tell you in a nutshell your dream is soon i will be a mother of your reverend father what do you mean by that mom? Hey, mom i never told you I have a son who is a Reverend Deacon in Bigger's Seminary in mm. Yes. Um, I pray your dream will come true. Already people have been calling me mother of a Reverend Father. Then I will be called Mama Father to the fullest. Mm. Oh, God. Mama Father. Eh? Eh? Mama Father. Eh? Mama Father. Eh? Mama, father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. My dear. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh. Mama, I'm still going now. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, Mama. I'm so happy. Thank you, my daughter. Bye -bye. Thank you, my daughter. Dear Mama, I thank you for the help you gave me all this while. Please forgive me. I had to leave because I don't want to disgrace you. I will explain when we see again. May God bless you for your kindness. Bye. Drop this type of letter. 
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us into temptation, and deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Immaculate heart of Mary. Immaculate heart of Mary. Immaculate heart of Mary. In the name of the Father. Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Ah! Hey! Sister Rose! Ah! Welcome, how are you? Ah! You're welcome, please. Have your seat, just make yourself comfortable. Uh, welcome, uh, uh, Sister Obi. Please, um, could you excuse us? I have a very, very important discussion with Sister Rosalind. I'll see you later in the evening. Mm -hmm. Sister you sent for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Sister Rosalie. You know, ever since you started leading in prayers, I saw changes in the life of a uh, Block Rosary mem uh, member. And uh, I decided that you should take up the post of the treasurer. But I thought Sister Toby is holding that post. That's why she was angry, no? She left my house just because of that. Eh? She is not competent enough to handle that post, and I feel you should do that. But how would I be convinced that she's not competent? Hey, Obi! I know Sister Obi very well. Sister Obi, see, she took that position. She has been. We have been hearing stories of missing funds, and we cannot. But we know you can do it. I know it personally. But this is not official. Don't you think your executive should know about it? <laughs> Don't worry. I will use my veto power as the president. Don't just worry. Ah, uh, what can I get for no, you? No, no, I don't want anything. I'm all right. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Ah. Sister Rosalind. You know, you are so pretty. And whenever I see you, you know, I feel you, you, you I don't know. I lose control. I don't I'm know what to do. What are you doing? I, I just. I, oh, let me tell you, you enjoy every bit of what I'm about to do in your life. But please, to change your situation. Let me. Let me go. What? Let me go. Get out. They go down, Miss Yuri. Get out. Get out. Get out. Idiot! Bastard! See you! Idiot! You are a fool! Are you better than those girls? Are you? you are a fool! the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Immaculate heart of Mary. Immaculate heart of Mary. Immaculate heart of Mary. In the name of the Father. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. Glory be to Jesus. Honor to Mary. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us stop pretending to be what we are not. If no one sees what we are doing in secret, God in heaven sees. 
Sister Rosalind, you are expelled, suspended from today, not to leave us in block rooms again. <laughs> This warning is to you sisters in this group. Stop going to brother's house for seduction. Hey! The day you are caught. I said the day you are caught. I will expel you. Am I understood? Yes. 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 I said the day you are caught, I will expel you. Am I understood? Yes. 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 Period. The grace. The grace, the the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His Holy Spirit, lead us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of my life, and I shall bring us to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. What's going to happen again? Then, oh, they are going to cut Rosalie for Christopher House. Jesus Christ, what is it? Who can tell you? I can tell you. Now they suspend her from from Rosalie. You don't know. I don't fear women. No, don't fear them. They go to attack. What? No, no go. Sit there. very well. See, Father, you are the one that blessed this scapula for me. Just give me your blessing and I'll be okay with it. What's your name? My name is Rosalina Amechi. Rosalina? Yes, Father. Do you attend money masses? Yes, Father. Did you attend today's own? Yes, you are the one that celebrated it. Okay. Come to my office tomorrow morning. After money months, okay? Yes, ma'am. Now receive God's blessing. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. How are you? Fine. You don't seem to be comfortable. Don't be afraid, okay? Yes, Father. How are your parents? I, I was told that they both died when I was two years old. Accept my sympathy. Rose. Rose, come on. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry. It's okay, eh? 
What of your guardians? My, my, my father had only one brother, but no sister. So he was taking care of me when my father died. He too, he became sick and died. His wife started maltreating me. She even stopped me from school. But when the suffering became too much for me, I now ran away from the home. That means you stay with nobody? Since I ran away from village to city, I stay alone. You mean you left village for city just alone? Okay. Where do you stay now? I normally pass the night at one uncompleted building near main market. How old are you? I'm 14 years old now. You're too young to do that kind of job you do. Father, I only do it so that I'll get money to eat something. What is your ambition? I mean, what do you want to be in the future? If God can help me, I would like to be a reverend sister. Why do you want to be a reverend sister? Because I want to serve God. And I want to be close to him, just like Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucy. All right. From now on, I will start taking care of you. I will send you to convent to become a reverend sister. Father, you mean I will go to the convent and become a reverend sister? Just promise me that you will never fail me. Father, I promise. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Father, let me go back to where I stay. I will see you tomorrow morning after. Thank you, Father. Bye bye. Come to school late. What's your name, eh? Huh? Next time you come to school late, I think I'll pardon you. What's your own name? Hi, Miss Angel. Hi. Hello, friends. Good morning. <laughs> you guys don't know your name for assembly. You had better run, no? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> hope you've not forgotten our collective study after CS. Of course, of course. Don't forget to bring your biology test. <laughs> Let's okay. hurry up. Bye. 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 What's your name? And where do you think you're running to? Will you run down your side? Open my eyes. You think you can escape me? Next time you come to school late. What's your name? Speak out, oh. What's your own name? Problem. Problem? Yeah. Concerning what? Concerning you. You of all people. Ah, uh, Miss Angel. Rose, mm -hmm. there's a rumor spreading in the convent that you're a massager. Me? Do you girls know you are trying to say that I'm a lesbian? Me, your friends, never said that. Um, well, the students are the ones spreading the rumor. They said you go about massaging them one after the other at night. And you believe them? Chris, no, no, Rose. 
You don't expect us to believe such a rumor. You are a friend. And that's why we are concerned about you. We just want to find out the truth from you. Well, now I'm telling you. I did no such thing. I am not a lesbian. Neither do I intend to be. All right. That I believe you, right? Well, I, I believe you. Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, Christy, can I just worry? Can I have that so please? Let me wash I know, I want to have a picture. Ave Maria, I want to have a Yo! 
Wesley's sister. I don't know. I didn't do it. You didn't do it? Yes, sister. You did not do it? Okay, then. I take it that you're possessed by some evil spirit. Me? No, sister. I'm not possessed. You're not possessed? Yes. You did not do it? Then give me explanations. Give me a very good explanation. Prove to me that you are innocent. Sister, that's the only Give me a no what truth. What truth? That you go about harassing other students in the middle of the night with your lesbianism. Is that the truth? Is that the truth? Answer me. I don't know, sister. I'm innocent. You are innocent. <laughs> you had them right, didn't you? You had what they were saying. For the past three months, there have been one complaint after the other about you harassing students in the middle of the night, and you're telling me you did not do anything. You want me to believe that? Do you want me to believe that? <laughs> I don't know, sister. I'm innocent. <laughs> Sit down. I believe you. Did you hear me? I said I believe you. So stop crying. Come on, stop crying like a little girl. Hmm? Why are you crying like a, like a little baby? It's okay. I believe you. Do you hear me? I believe you. Okay. Come and sit down with me. Come and sit down with me. Jesus. 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 What's wrong with you? Sister. Please let me go. Go where? Come on. Sister, I want to go. What's the matter with you? You don't like me? I don't like it. You don't like it or you don't like me? I like you, but I don't like it. Why? Because the Bible says we should not fornicate. It's a sin against God. Besides, you're a reference sister. Shut up! Look at you. Get up, get up from my side! Look at her. Miss Angel, oh, you are a reverend sister, the Bible says. You think I don't know what you do? Ordinary play, you cannot play. But if it comes to going into people's rooms and harassing them, shut up if you say one word there. Now get out of my room. I'll make sure you pay for this. Excuse me, friends. I am not, UK. I have given you my word and that's the truth. Take it or leave it. I did nothing. You did nothing. Please calm down. Calm down for God's sake. Who's and UK? Let's resolve this matter now. We are not resolving any matter. Look, Miss Angel or whatever they call you, I want you to keep away from us and anything that belongs to us, okay? Yes, ma. Uh-huh. But let me warn you too. My name is not Miss Angel. No. For God's sake. You're going too far now. Grace. Christy, shall we leave? Well, I can see you are not ready to leave. But that's your business. UK, wait, UK, wait for me. I'm with you. I'm still your friend. Please wipe out your tears. Eh? At least this is a proof of your friendship. I know.
push me come, Sister Ruth. 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 The scripture says only the truth can set you free. So where do you belong? I mean, where do you come from? What cult? Just tell me the truth and you'll be free. I've told you everything. I don't belong to any cult. So how come everybody, all the students, including the Reverend Sisters, are all pointing accusing fingers at you? Mother God to be any witness. I know nothing of the deed. Rosalind, you have disappointed Father Silvanus and my very self. For three months now, I've been hearing the same story about you. You, Rosalind, a lesbian, holy mother. mother. This is unbelievable. Mother, I am not. Truly. Shut up. What is the noise about? Deputy Senior Prefect. Yes, Mother. What is the problem? Mother, we the student of Mother Perpetual Helps of Convent have decided that Rosalina and you must quit the convent. Yes! yes! Harassment to the student has turned us to night vigilantes. No more rest of mind at night. Mother, with due respect, we've had enough of our torment. Therefore, we demand she must leave. Have I spoken your mind? Yes! Quiet! I've heard what you said. I understand your problem. But I want you to remember what the Bible says. Judge not so that you will not be judged. I also want you to remember what Jesus Christ told the people who wanted to stone Mary Magdalene to death. Because she committed adultery. I promise all of you that I'll look into this case. Rosalind Amechi. lesbianism too. But it has to stop in this convent. Every day is for the thief. But one day is for the owner of the house. Rosalind Amici, you will be going on a one month suspension. Yes. Yes. When you come back after one month, the school authority will decide whether you will remain in this convent or not. Sister Philo, take her to the dormitory. Let her pack all her belongings. Then you come to my office for her suspension letter. Yes. You must go! Yes. You must go! Shut up! You cannot go back to your classes. Okay. 
You girls do not seem to understand the kind of politics Reverend Mother wants to play in that case. What, what politics? politics? See you. You be Mumu. Me, Mumu. Then if I be Mumu, your own Mumu carry word call. So after all your years in this convent, you don't know that Masaja is sister to Reverend Father Silvanus. So how do you think Reverend Mother will expel her from the convent? You see why I say your own Mumu carry word call? I told you that Father Silvanus is Rosalind's god brother. He's just her guardian. He just kept for her just like his own blood sister. And damn all like this. And I thought they were blood brother and sister. You're not even from the same town. Yeah. Oh. For you, Grace. And whatever mother does not even regard your parents. She does not even regard you either. So, if you dare any rubbish in this school, immediate expulsion straight. <laughs> UK, why do you like to ridicule me? Is it because the Reverend Mother regards your parents because of their wealth? Oh, why are you taking it so far? I was only joking now. <laughs> cool down. <laughs> Christy, why are you quiet? Are you alright? Something keeps telling me in my mind that she's innocent. Who? Rosalina Amechi, uh, Miss Angel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Please! You girls should stop calling her names. She's not! And what would you do if I don't? Hmm? I'll call her whatever name I want to call her, okay? She's a lesbian. She's a prostitute. She's a Masaya. She's possessed. I hate her. You love girl. She's everything. You sh and fuck, I hate her. I hate her. He's less in your noise, boss. What's your problem? Everything you said, just take your time to look into the case properly. There is nothing to worry about, Father Silvanus. Good. Like I told you earlier, investigations are still going on. And by the grace of God, something good must surely come out of it. Well, I'm very, very grateful for the wonderful job you do in this convent. May God bless you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye bye. It's a ringing merriment. It's a ringing merriment. Find the one is so 
Sorry for being so angry with you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just lost my temper. Come, come, come to me. You shall have peace in your life. Amen. You shall see good things in your life. Amen. And a bountiful blessings shall follow you all the days of your life. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Amen. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. I'm sorry. Yes, um, good. Yes, Father. Like I do tell you, always be a good girl. As for that case, and just be prayerful and allow God to handle it in His own way. Okay? Okay, Father. So, God will do you good. Sorry. Sister? No. Why now? When did it start? So, some hours ago. But, but I asked some friends to help me. They turned me down. Human beings. Well, not to worry. Let me go and um, search for the infirmary sisters. I'll be right back, okay? Just sit down here. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Don't Thanks worry. Focus. Count on me. Look at that! Huh? 
sorry. You can't. I don't. I didn't. stop using my phone. What's your problem? You can't. Huh? You see, what is it? What has you done to deserve this insult? Look, you better warn her. As soon as you stop using my thing, this is just an exam. Try me again. Yuki, do you know you're a very wicked girl? This is someone you used to chat, eat and play with, and all of a sudden you turned against her. I've made myself clear. She's no longer my friend. Period. Don't you use my things and other people's things. Uh -huh. Don't you? Uh huh. The question is balanced now. You use mine and I use yours. They use mine, I use theirs. I cannot waste my friendship on this useless lesbian, massager like you. Use my thing again, I will slap you. Useless. You want to use less my buckets? Touch your eyes. Pretend that you poke it. I thought I gave it back to you as soon as I finished it with my assignment. Check no. your bag now, I've given it back to you. It's not there, just check for it now. It's not there. Maybe give it to somebody else, who knows? Okay, wait, let me check. Oh, oh. Sorry, I borrowed it to someone yesterday. Christy, why? Why? Why is it that when I, whenever I give you something, you give it out to people without my knowledge? I'm sorry. Why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Let me go and look for it. This is not the first time. This is not the second time. This neither is it going to be the third time. Hey, I'm ah. sorry. Please, I don't like it. Oh, my God. What is going So why didn't you report her to me or to any of the sisters instead of fighting? Sister, it was for me. I lost my temper. Please, sister, forgive us. Don't report us to mother. It's okay. I won't report you. Okay? Okay, sister. I won't Thank report you. you to her. Did you think I was going to report you? Sister, leave me alone. I won't be strong with you. Hey, shut up! Are you crazy? Do you want to attract attention to this place? If you don't leave me, I will attract. Shut up, you fool! Listen, if you don't want to be expelled from this school, you better just do what I ask you to do. You know what's the penalty for fighting in the court? Expulsion and no escape. Can I just play ball, eh? Okay, so I hope you can just relax. No, sister, no, 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 I don't want to play. Expelled. You cannot be expelled. 
you care of all people. After all, your father pledges a lot of money at every annual feast for the development of this convent. Grace, uh -huh. Grace, stop teasing me. I don't like it. I I'm not teasing you now. Listen, it's only Rosalind who is going to be expelled. Look at this one. Have you forgotten what the rule says? The rule says that any two fighters in the convent will be expelled. Listen, Sister Philo said that it's only Rosalind who is going to be expelled at tomorrow's conference with the Reverend Mother. Are you sure? Uh, uh, yes, now. She also said that the convent authority have discovered that Rosalind is really possessed and she must leave this convent. Grace, Grace, are you sure? Uh, I'm serious now, it's true. Grace, eh? That means I'm free. You're free now, I told you. That means I'm free. Trust me. <laughs> Let's go, John. Thank God. My room, my fight. Thank God. Fight. That's all I want to fight again. Fight. I want to fight again. has been revealed to us by God. Yes. Rosaline is innocent. Yes. 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 innocent yeah. Sister Philo here is the one who has been harassing and tormenting the student all this while with a possessive attitude of lesbianism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just this morning, we caught her. And she has confessed. Yes. 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 Sister Philo. Yes, mother. You, a lesbian? The possessed night tormentor? Mm. Lord have mercy. Mother, I am sorry. I don't know what happened to me. Mm. Mm. Must have been possessed by some evil spirit. Mm. You call yourself a reverend sister? Mm. Sorry, brother. I'm sorry. Where is Rosalie? 
Um, DSP? Yes, mother. Where is she? Mother, nobody knows her whereabouts. Her two economists said she was not in bed throughout the night. I want everybody to go back to bed. We'll be meeting at the conference hall. Regulator? Yes, mother. Take note. Yes, mother. DSP, yes, mother. take four people with you and get Rosalind for me now. Yes, mother. Every other person go back to bed. I forgive you all. But please, permit me to beg you one thing. I plead on behalf of Sister Philly. I have forgiven her. But please, spare her. Doing here? Um, we've actually been waiting for you. You and who? Grace and GUK want to apologize for their ill treatment to you. Christy, but I said I've forgiven them. I meant what I said at the I conference. I know, I know. I know. Ours is very different. Please forgive us. Yes, we've really offended you, and we're sorry. Please forgive us. Okay. Um, UK, Grace, I forgive you for my heart. Oh, Rose, thank you. Thank you. Forgive you. I will stay close. Yes. 
That's what the collective said. Good afternoon, Mother. Oh, hello, Rosalind. How are you? I'm fine, Mother. Mother, you sent for me. Oh, yes. Please sit down. Thank you, Mother. My daughter. Yes, Mother. Sister Philo wants to have a word with you. I didn't want her to, but she insisted. So I have to grant her request. My daughter, I know it is not easy. But Mother, I will. I will speak with her. Mother, I had a dream about it last night. And in that dream, I saw our blessed Mary. She said Sister Philo should not be dismissed from the sisterhood. And that I should go and pray for her, that our Lord Jesus would deliver her. When I opened my mouth to ask her a question, she disappeared. So I woke up and became afraid. <sighs> My daughter, this dream of yours is a very strange one. I'll tell the Mother Superior about it. Okay. Then we'll look into it. Meanwhile, go and see Sister Philip. Alright, Mother. I'll go and see her. You're welcome, Mother. you in the name of Jesus come out of her now I bind you I send you into the abyss where you belong come out of her now in the name of Jesus Fine, Mother. What can I do for you? Um, Mother, it's about Sister Philo. What about her? Sit down. What uh, about her? Mother, I'm sorry if I'm intruding. It's concerning her case. My daughter, I presented your case to the panel. I mean, your encounter with her Holy Mother. And how you delivered her from the bondage of the devil. After all said and done, they decided that she should go on a three month suspension as punishment. Mother, where is she now? Or has she gone for the suspension? She has been transferred to another convent. Mother, why? I would have loved her to remain with us after her suspension so that my fellow student would see a new creation in her life. But my daughter, 
This is the Roman Catholic ethics. If any reverend sister who has taken her final profession is found guilty of any offense in her parish, she must be transferred. That is the way it is. My dear, yes, don't bother yourself. I know she is well wherever she is. Okay, mother. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you. Bye, mother. Bye, my daughter. Father. Take this note, give it to Mother Esther as soon as she get back to convent. Okay? Yes, Father. And I hope you've got all your things ready against tomorrow morning. Um, just a few things to tidy up. I'm supposed to, you should have got everything ready by now. Now go and tidy it up. Yes, Father. Good. Yes, Father. I know if there's been opportunity for you to extend this three days break to three months, you would have done it. Um, Father, I don't like you to, you know I... I'm I just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. Okay? Uh, Father, uh, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? I'm missing. Father, I want you to come and tell Mother to warn the students to stop calling me Miss Angel. <laughs> How does that affect your life and study in convent? But Father, I'm not an angel. I'm a human being like every other person. Come on, Rosalie, need just a nickname. Father, I don't like that nickname. The angels are in heaven. I don't see any reason why they should nickname me Miss Angel. Now listen, my dear, let me tell you something. In convent like that, the students have nicknames which they give themselves. One's nickname derived through harmonarism in school. So, I guess because of your faith in God, they decided to give you that nickname. Now listen, when next they call you Angel, be happy and proud. Right. And because they praise the Spirit of God inside you. Are you happy now? Yes, Father. No. Ah, you cannot go. So don't bother yourself. Right. Go and get all your things ready. Tomorrow morning, you are going back to school. Thank you, Father. Yeah, bye -bye. Mentioning Miss Angel, of course. It was a slip of tongue. Please. <laughs>
stripes. Be healed. Your child? Am I your child? Yes. But what happens to him? He's the only son I have, Father. I'm a widow. Please help me, Father. Mr. John, what, what happened to him? Yes, yes, Father. Emma had become found an ex victim. The doctor, the doctor said a lot of the, the tests he carried out surely he has a few hours to leave before he gives up. Please, Father, could you please father. pray for him? So that he's so arrested. Father, oh. what is wrong with the boy? Hey, the little boy is suffering from HIV AIDS disease. This is his mother. She just said that the doctor said uh, he has short time to leave. He will soon give up. How could such an innocent poor boy suffer this kind of disease? God, how could you allow this widow, this poor widow, to be left empty handed? Please, Father, have mercy on them. Shall we pray? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven, heaven and earth. O Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray. O my spirit Jesus, love of soul, by the agony and by the souls of Immaculate Mother, cleanse in with their blood the sinner of the whole world who is in his agony and who is to die this day. Amen. <coughs> Can now die in peace. Oh, the oak in peace. Oh, Father, what did you say? That is not the way. What did you say, Father? Okay. Father, okay. 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 Yes, your Almighty and most merciful God, look upon your child. Poor innocent boy. Everyone has tried his best. It is time for you to prove that you are the creator, the healer of all sicknesses and disease. Hodge and consecrate him by his stripes be healed
Good evening. Welcome to MTS News. I am Tiara Ndupe. A 17 year old girl named Rosalina Amechi was suspended by the Catholic Archbishop for healing an AIDS victim. The federal government has extended the welfare package for the indigents. Football has been established as a standard sport. Now the news in detail. A 17 year old girl named Rosalina Amechi a student of Mother of Perpetual Help Convent, who healed an AIDS victim yesterday, has an order to suspend the performance of any more miracles by Archbishop Paul Adams. According to our reporter, under the Roman Catholic doctrine, a thorough and authentic church sanctioned investigation is carried out on any member who exhibits or claims to have spiritual or healing powers from God before being allowed to carry on with such works. He went on to say that the procedures are compulsory. In the other items on the news, a fire has ripped through an apartment building in the early hours of today. Five people were reported dead. So, my lord, <clears throat> that's all I know about her. Though she's been under my care since I learned she has no one to help her. Because of her strong faith to serve God as a reverend sister, I took it upon myself as a duty to see her through in her education in convent. So she was the same Rosalind who had problem, a mother of a help convert with the suspended sister Philo. Yes, my lord, she was the one. Uh, but sister Philo confessed that she was healed of her evil spirit by her. Yes, my lord. Again, she claimed to be visited in her dream by a blessed Virgin Mary, who advised her that sister Philo should not be expelled. Yes, my lord. That was what she told me. Now, uh, for the Sylvanas, what yes, do you think about her? What can you really say uh, concerning the miracles she performed? Well, my lord, I'm even confused. Though, since I know how her behavior has been good to me, and her fellow students in convent. Occasionally, some students predicted of the changes in their lives as a result of her behavior today. On the other hand, I strongly believe that everybody is entitled to a different gift from God. The gift becomes manifested when the glory of God descends upon the person. Meaning? Meaning that my Lord, through my confrontation with her, I learned that the miracle she performed is by the power of the Almighty God in heaven. Father Silvanus. Yes, my Lord. Actually, I met with the mother general before the suspension came up. I've informed all the Catholic bishops nationwide to help me look into this matter because the news have spread all over the nation and it's very complicated. Uh, Father Silvanus, you can go. I will send for her for a confrontation. Okay? Thank you, my Lord. I will be on my way, my Lord. Okay, I will also send for you when the need arises. Thank you, my Lord. Thanks, my Lord. Bye bye. Yes, sit, sit down. Thank you. 
My daughter. Yes, mother. You'll be going with me to see the admin shop at 4 p.m. Yes, ma'am. It's very important. Thanks. So don't forget. Yes, ma'am. You can go back to your place. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Rosie. Yes, ma'am. There is nothing to be afraid of. He just wants to know more about your gifts. Thank you, ma'am. Bless you, my daughter. Don't worry. Thank you, ma'am. See you then. God bless you. Then. Yes, my lord. Tell me something. Who are your parents? My lord, they are both dead now. How? I mean, what led to their death? My lord, I was told they both died in a motor accident when I was two. The pity. Please accept my sympathy, okay? Yes, my lord. How did you cope after death? Please, my lord, I don't want to be reminded of my past. I don't want to talk about it. It's okay, it's okay. I understand. I understand. Please don't cry, okay? Now, when and how did you realize the gift of the miracles? My lord, in fact, I don't know how it all started, but when I was 13 years old, I used to participate fully in Block Rosary, through which I got to know more about our Blessed Mother. And since I had no father or mother I could talk to, I embraced our Blessed Mary through the Rosary and our God Almighty through the Bible. And since then, I felt belonged in the parental care of children. And I believe God loves me. And he's been good to me. He blessed me with an unknown gift since childbirth. And now he's lifting me and making the gift known to the world. Tell me the truth. Do you belong to any occult? No, my lord. I belong to nowhere but God in heaven. Rosalind. Yes, my lord. I want you to understand something here. Under the Roman Catholic doctrine, any miracle performed by any member must be thoroughly investigated so that the children of God will not be deceived by false prophets with their devilish miracles. Uh, Revelation 19.20 says, then the beast was captured, and with him a false prophet that walked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of beast and those who worshipped his image. So, we are not trying to suppress any known true gift of God by any Catholic member. Rather, we are investigating if such gift to the person is truly of God. Okay? Yes, my lord. Um, I shall send for you when I might have sat with the panel of Catholic bishops on this issue. Okay. So you can now go back to the convent. Okay? Thank you, my lord. Um,
Roslyn. Rose. Yes, father. Um, I have a good news for you. So, guess what it is. Sit down. Um, good news, you say? Mm. Yes. Good news. Okay. Um, I've been awarded the best student of the year in our convent. No, 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 no. Okay. I have been picked as one of the aspirants. Uh, no, no. Though you've been picked, but that is not the bone of contention. So try more. Okay, I have it. The Archbishop is back from the conference. Ah, no, you failed again. Keep on trying, keep on trying. Uh, no, Father, I give up. I can't wait to hear it now. All right, all right. I will tell you. The Catholic National Council of Bishops has finally decided to give you a supportive hand and continue with your miracles. Father. Here is an official letter from the bishop. Thank you. Congratulations. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm happy God. too. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. happens to me? Nothing happens to me. Father, I'm fine. Come, come on, sister Rose. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Father, I've told you I'm fine. 
Probably that's the way God wants it. Remember, nothing happens on this earth without a purpose. I know that God does things in his own way. But something keeps telling me that something is wrong somewhere. I'm just confused. Why are you talking like this? You should know better than I do. You don't understand, Sister Rose. People out there are running out of patience just because that was the third time it happened in the church. Imagine. Every other person that came there with his or her problem got healed, except that mad boy. Now your healing power has become questionable. Everybody talks about it. The Archbishop, the Reverend Fathers, brothers and sisters, even the members of the church. Well, I cannot see my reason of being worried about it. Father, in the book of Exodus, God asked Moses to strike his staff on the rock just once. But Moses striked more than once and got punished by God just because the people of Israel were worried and complaining and Moses wanted to satisfy them, thereby disobeying God. I understand, sister. It's just that. I'm, my mind is worried. There is absolutely nothing to worry about, Father. Let us not disobey God to satisfy people so that we should not be punished by God. Let his wish be done, okay? All right. Um, I've heard everything is Mother, I, what about it? I was saying my rosy there. 
when I looked up at the statue, I started blinking tears. And suddenly the tears turned to blood. I started rushing down his cheeks. This is strange. Let me go and see. No, 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 no. Sister Christy, please. Let's hurry to Father Savannah's house and summon him, please. That's true. Let's go. Jesus. This is Where are the tears? But I can't see them. But it, it was there. It was there while I was still praying, before I screamed and ran away. That's the truth, Father. I was the one who held her while she was screaming. But look around both of you and see if there is any other Blessed Virgin Mary statue apart from this very one here. Father, don't you believe me? Come on, Sister Rosalie. You know I always believe you. But this very one appears strange to me. Father, you have to believe her because of the way she narrated the story. All right. Now tell me, how exactly did it happen? Father, I was kneeling right here, saying my rosary. When I looked up at the statue, it started blinking away tears. And suddenly the tears turned to blood, started running down its cheeks. I, I became afraid and ran away. That was when I ran into Sister Christy, who held me. Sister Christy? Yes, Father. What did you do when she had told you the story? I hurried to what she had told me, but she stopped me and said, we should come and inform you first. So we left for your house immediately. Yes, Father. So this is true. But what baffled me most is the mood with which she reveals herself. Tears and blood. Father, what do you mean? Uh, I mean her mood. It shows that things are abnormal. No, no, no sister, listen. When you say your rosary, yes, and such an encounter arises, just don't make noise. Don't be afraid. Just keep quiet and watch what will happen next. Okay? Father, what are you saying? That I should stand before the statue of our Blessed Virgin Mary with those thick tears and blood in her eyes? This is the apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary we are talking about, Father. And you ask her to stand before it? Don't you know what those tears and blood signify? Come on, sister. You don't understand. There is fire on the mountain. A very big fire. Now listen. I guess she had a message for the world which she wanted to convey through you. But you've missed the message because of the fear and the noise you made. She, she doesn't, doesn't like, like noise. noise. So, just do as I told you when next you prove. Will you do that for our sake? Yes, Father. That is good. Now, let's go back home.
I've been dreaming. Look at your body. What kind of a dream was that? What did you see in your dream? Nothing, nothing. But I heard you shouting in your sleep. Did the apparition appear to you again? No, no, nothing of such. It was just a mere dream. You call, you call, you call that a mere dream? Oh, come on, Sister Rose. Talk to me. I am your friend. You have a problem, Sister Rose. It's, it's written all over. I, I saw nothing. I have no. I just had a mad dream like I told you before. Anyway, thanks for your concern. Okay? I want you to go back to sleep. I'll be fine. I'm sure. Yeah, I'll be okay. Good night. I was just a little girl, a virgin daughter of God. Before a stranger defiled me, I was a victim of circumstances. I did what I did just to survive. I have come to you, O oh Lord. Because I know you never leave me, you never leave me now. Mm. Save me if you forgive me my sin. Set my soul free, Lord. Set me free from the pain. And I will be free indeed. I have suffered so much from the ends of men. With no fear to it, nowhere to call my own. I am all alone in this world. I did what I did <coughs> just oh. to say hi. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Sister Rosalie. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Father. What did she say to you? Who do you mean, Father? Who else am I talking about? A blessed Virgin Mary, of course. You saw her apparition last night, didn't you? Father, I, I, didn't, I didn't see anything. What did she tell you? Father, truly, I did not see her apparition last night. She did not talk to me, neither did I dream of her. But... But what? I... I only... But what? I'm asking you! That our blessed Virgin Mary delivered a message to you for the world. And you refused to convey it. Father, believe me. Shut up with Sister Rosalind! Just listen to yourself. That I should believe your blatant and naked lies. That she did not appear and speak to you. And after she had left, you started screaming out of fear. Now you've set up the message so that all of us can perish. Never. Never! Oh, come on, Father. That last night's scream was as a result of the nightmare I had. Nightmare or no nightmare, it's not my concern. I just want you to know that what you are hiding is a message from heaven. A holy message indeed. Now listen and listen attentively. If you insist in prevaricating the truth, then I won't hesitate to report you to the Archbishop. Period. Good day. Don't want to answer me.
Is it Father Silvanus? So you told him. Is that why you ignored me as if I have committed the worst sin on earth? Or is it a sin to tell my friend's guardian to come and rescue her from her problem? Why didn't you inform me if you were truly my friend? I don't like it and you know it. Chrissy, please, please come back. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be rude. I, I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is Chrissy. I don't know what happens to me. I, I don't know. That this is how this world is. Just like a ball revolving every minute of the day, bringing the past to the present. I thought that my becoming a reverend sister would cover my sins. Her faith has been against me. What do I tell him? I'll tell him my sins. Sins that are. Too dirty for the ears to hear. Um, it's okay, Sister Rose. It's okay. But um, I don't understand those words you just said. They are like riddles. Come on, Sister Rose. You and I have come a long way. We've been friends from our GSS one, and we've also been confiding to each other. Please talk to me. Tell me what your problems are so that we can resolve them. Sister Christy, I will tell you everything later. But you have to promise me one thing. What? That you won't let Father Sivanus know about it for now. Okay, I promise. Okay. Right. Okay. I have to go to my room now. Mama? Mama? Anyone at home? Mama, where are you? I'm here. I'm at home, Mama. Oh my God! Mama, God is wonderful. So, I'm now a mother of a reverend father. <laughs> Yeah, welcome, my son. Yes, yeah, welcome. Come and sit down. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Oh my God. Oh. Father Mama. How are you? Mama, I'm fine, no? <laughs> How about the city and the people over there? Hey. Ah, the city is fine, no? And the people over there, they are also fine. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome, my son. Uh, thank you, Mama. <laughs> oh. Anytime I see you with this immaculate white of yours, it becomes my happiest time in my life. Oh, Mama. <laughs> oh. How I wish your father would have seen his son as a priest of God. Um. Mama, 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 she said that she was all right and she only needed some money which i had sent to her i hope by now she must have received it <laughs> so thank you my son no, no worries thank you doctor no worries may the good lord bless you and you <laughs> it isn't up to two weeks i die your younger sister left here for the nyse sc camp um uh, Adam, she will soon finish her youth service and then get a job in an oil company. Um, 
and you become happy. <laughs> Oil company? Yes! <laughs> then your happiness will be increased more and more <laughs> and i see that my happiness has already been increased i can see it mama i can see, see it bouncing you're bouncing in the lord you're bouncing bouncing in the lord you're bouncing. Yeah? Bouncing. Bouncing in the lord. i am bouncing in the lord i am bouncing in the lord bouncing 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 i am bouncing in the lord let me go and see what I put on the fire. Okay. I'll come back soon. <laughs> Mama. 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 Yes, Father, I'm coming. Mama, come, 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 come. Father, see, Mama, <coughs> this one you are calling me. I hope there's no problem. Who is this young girl in this photo? What is it? Let me have a glance. I never told you about her. She used to work at the farm opposite my shop. After the day's work, she would go and sleep in that paper maker unfinished building. Hey, Papa makers on the uncompleted yes. building. Yes, I know, I know. <coughs> when I took pity on her, I took her as my house help. Yeah. I treated her very well. She <coughs> was such a nice and hardworking girl. Mm -hmm. To my greatest surprise, mm. I came back one day. I did not see her anymore. What I saw was a written note she dropped on the table for me. Since then, I have never laid my eyes on her. Mama, <coughs> what is her name? Rosa. That's Rosalina or Rose? Yes, anyone. Mama. And. Did you notice anything about her when she was with you? She didn't stay too long with me. She didn't even stay up to a year before she left. So how will I know? Mama, you remember the girl I told you about? The one I trained in convent who was later consecrated a reverend sister. You remember? Yes, 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 yes. The one you said that cures aid and perform other miracles. You are right, Mama. Now a reverend sister in the city. You are right, Mama. Yes, she is the one. She is the one. You mean this Rosa here? Is the Rosaline? A reverend sister now in the city. Mama, she is the one. That is Rosalind. She's now a reverend sister. Yes, Mama. Mama, get prepared. Tomorrow morning, We'll be traveling down to city together. Father Silva, what for? To go and see Rosa who left me without telling me. Mama, not really, not really. Just for you to be around and be my witness. Okay? Father, what is the matter? <laughs> Mama, no worry. No worry. When we get there tomorrow, then you will know about everything. Okay? No worry. Okay, I will go and prepare your food first. Mm -hmm. I would still like you to lay your eyes on that written note. Okay, Mama. I want you to read that note. I will read it. It's very, very important. I will even want to see it. Okay, Master. Let me go and prepare your food. Okay.
Yes. Oh, Father, it's you. I learned to travel to the village to see your mother. Oh, yes. I'm just back from there. You're welcome. Yeah. Father, is there any problem? What's the matter? of a bird is this? Oh, <coughs> that's a water bird. I bought it recently. Oh, a dog. It looks so beautiful. Father, you seem to like it. <laughs> Not really. I, I just like the way it swims. Why don't you like it? Well, it's very beautiful and innocent when it's really born, but wicked-minded when it grows. Interesting. How did you know that, Father? Haven't you heard of a, of a, a dog and a, a domestic head? No. What about it? My late father told me that when I was a kid, Oh. The story goes like this. Two birds of different classes happened to lay their eggs at the same period of time. Hen laid six, white dog laid one, and died of a dangerous disease. When the owner came around, he took the dead dog's eggs from its nest and transferred it to the hen's nest to be hatched along with her own six eggs. So the mother hen got all the eggs hatched and produced seven children. As they grew up, the mother hen pampered the dog more than her own children. But suddenly, the dog turned around and started bullying these other ones. The mother hen warned her, but she persisted. So the persistent bullying of the fowls by the dog now sought the mother hen's heart, which influenced her to wonder if the dog was her blood. So one night, as they were all asleep, the mother hen used the opportunity to examine them one after the other. And alas, she was fortunate to discover that the dog which she thought her blood, her own issue, was an escape goat. So she drove her out of sight to search for the class where she belonged. Oh, pity, poor dog. What? Why would she be so wicked to Mother Hen after all Mother Hen did for her? Father, what is this? That's the answer to your question. Father, what does this mean? Meaning that I am the mother hen, and you are the young pretty dog. I 
took you as my kid sister, my blood, and gave you all that I have. I trusted you. And you made me to believe everything you told me about yourself. Indeed, a degree that is not good. Devil. Imposter. Deceiver. Liar. This is fake, Mama. <laughs> Mama, this is fake, not Arabic sister. Mama. Rosa. Mama. Rosa. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Rosa. <laughs> Just to look at yourself. Just to look at yourself. <laughs> you are nothing but a disgrace to the nation. Father, please. Oh, please. Shut up. Sorry for yourself. You betrayed me. My mother. The church. An entire nation. <clears throat> now listen and listen good. At the crusade tomorrow evening, tell the whole world who you are or else I will expose you. <clears throat> Goodbye. Mama, I'm yes. going. <clears throat> yourself together and ask God for forgiveness. I hope you will understand and forgive you. Sister Christy, I'm afraid I might be as communicated or as help from the convent. There is nothing to be afraid of. I think the Mother Superior will understand. After all, it's not your fault. Oh my God. 
Come on, Rose, stop crying. After all, it's not your fault. Oh God. Come on, Rose. Please stop crying. Let's just hope on God that you'll be spared. What shall I do? What shall I do? My whole world has fallen apart. Why is life the spirit so of God had carefully gone through your case and finally came out with this? That you, Sister Rosalind, should be stripped off your uniform with immediate effect from the sisterhood of this congregation for betraying the trust imposed on you by God. over this issue. They came out with this decision. My own duty is to comply and I rule. So, I'm sorry. Thank you. worthy to be called your sister, your friend, your trustee, or anything good you can think of. I have been sent out of the convent because of my sins. My sins have piled up a load on my head, a very heavy one full of uncountable punishments. Father, please. My neck is weighed down. My punishments are weighed more than the sands of the sea. Father, please. Do not forsake me. Now, especially at a time like this. <laughs> Please. Please, Father. Samson, David, Samuel, St. Peter, St. Paul, St. Mary Magdalene. There were once sinners in the world, but God Almighty had mercy on them. Wherever I go, wherever I may be, I'll be waiting for your forgiveness. 
with my mother. seem to be worried. Hope there is no problem. Father, I just learned that Sister Rose came to your office. Please, please, to call Risha. She's been expelled from the convent, so you cannot call her by her name. So this is true, Father. Why didn't you tell the Mother Superior to do something about it? Why? What did you expect me to do? To go and tell Mother Superior that she was right for the offense she committed? Come on, sister. I don't do that kind of pleading. After all my pleadings to you, you still never forgive her. Am I God to forgive sins? For Christ's sake, I am not. Human forgiveness. That's what I am talking about. At least you would have done something to stop them from dismissing. Please, 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 sister. Let's not talk about this matter all over again. Let's talk about something else. Please. Where is she now? Well, I wouldn't know her whereabouts, but... She just left my house a few minutes ago. So. Thank you, Father. I'm sorry. This is the Lamb of God. This is Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who accord to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but to receive the word, and I shall be in May the body and blood of Christ guide and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Blood, blood. Jesus Christ. Good evening, my Lord. Good evening, Father Stephanus.